we're gonna try the van, finally. As you can see, she's ready for her maiden voyage. Let's do this. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh, oh you can't see now, but there's a deer. Right, we've made the bed for the first time. So I just wanted to see what it was well, like outside and how many people were out here. Welcome to a new vlog. A very exciting vlog because we're gonna try the van, finally. I've convinced Nick it needs to be done. The sun is out, the folks have gone home. There's nothing else to do on the van. Well, there is, but nothing that we can do until it's been wrapped next week. Uh, so we have about three nights where we can go. So we're gonna go. I'm just waiting for Nick to get ready. I've started getting some things ready. Nick's got the toilet out already um, with some toilet uh, paper. This is the little toilet roll holder on the side, which is nice and convenient and an extra roll. Uh, we've got the throw to put in. There's quite a lot of stuff to do before we go. Um, the m carpet for the cab needs to go back in. We've got some organizers for clothes. Got a few bits and bats that we just need to put in there. I've got my um, laptop in my bag ready because I'll need that for editing. Um, those are just the clothes that I'm going to take. I'm being very minimal on clothes. Uh, that's what I'm taking. I have got some food out so far. Got some non-alcoholic Guinness because I really like that. Um, so the corn of the cobs that we'd never got around to eating when the folks came. Beans on toast, of course. Um, some bread, just some bits and bats, some tea. Uh, oh yes, I need to get some butter. Um, so I have got a, yeah, a fridge full of stuff actually. I need to take more than that. Um, I need to take the butter. And um, we've got some steaks, but we, we just thought for the first time, we're not gonna stink the van up with steaks, but I'll get a few more bits and bats. And um, then we've got to get it all packed into the van. Right, so we've got to make the bed as well. Um, so, let me get that over there. I'll have this side. My clothes are gonna go up here. See, there's loads of storage for uh, clothes. Might bring some more, actually. Right, I'm just starting to fill the um, cupboards with stuff, bread and crisps and teas, tea bags, uh, etc. And then we have a few things in the fridge. Here he is, sorting the toilet out. <laughs> right, there should be um, a plastic funnel somewhere to get this in. In one of these drawers? It might be, I don't know, it's in here somewhere. It's like a white plastic funnel. Uh... A bit like a shiwi. Might be in that cupboard. Or in top cupboard. Um, I can't find it in there. All that needs moving from there to there and then back. Well, we can do that when we're out and about. Give us something to do. Right. Ooh, that's there's all. I'll go and get the vacuum yeah. and just. Uh, right. Just so where is it? Sort of tidy around before we get off. Oh, and I didn't look in there actually. Is it at the back? Oh, it's that right, there. We go. That needs to obviously not be stored there. Did that come with a toilet? Yeah. So it goes on here, so you can get the liquid in without spilling it everywhere. So, well, oh, that's it there. So, how much did it say put in? 100 mil, but we're not filling it full, so I'm not putting that much in. So, we'll just maybe put. Yeah, that's that probably about 100 mil anyway. Right, get yourself a wipe and get rid of that. <laughs> Quickly. Is it running down? Yep. Oh, it smells like ice pops. Here, yeah, wipe all that as well. I must say that's a rubbish funnel. Right, and now, what we need to do... We need a bin bag already. Put some flush water in. Ooh! I've got a kink. Mm. Thankfully, I've just been to the loo. I, I know, I'm sure everybody's appreciative of that information. Before I went in the shower, I went. <laughs> so I might, I, I might be able to go a weekend without using it. But we've got to use it, we've got to test it. Well, it takes a lot of water, doesn't it? 16 litre. We're not going to put that much in, though. Right, so this display is supposed to show you how much... Yeah, you might not have enough in yet. Right, wait a minute, because we've got to test... We've got to test the flush. So... 
Yep. Yep. Ooh. What? It stops. What do you mean? Yeah, that's fine. Don't feel a little too much. Ah, you hold it. You hold it down. Right, okay. Let me put some more in. Right, can you get me a blue sachet? I'm concerned that that's not going up. Oh, is that how? That might be when you need yeah, to empty I bet the, that's uh, when you need to empty it. The poo bits. Yeah. Right. Can you get me a blue sachet that we're putting in? And where are they? In cupboard. Down here. Oh, have you right? Have you oh no! I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in this new bag that I've got. So, Aqua Chem blue sachets. Right. The thing is, we're going to have to crap in this to test it. Well, what else do you think I'm going to crap? Well, you're going to have to. You're going to be peeing in it anyway, right? So you just drop one bag in. Hmm. <laughs> Well, it's going to take a bit of fluid to get over that level. Where's his um, kidney pee bottle as well? Behind the seat in the back. Oh, okay. Right, so that's done. So I can put that lid back on. Can you just wipe that with something? I need a bin bag. Chuck it down there. Close the lever. And that's for later. Toilet ready. <laughs> right, let's get it put in the shower. How much water are you going to put in? Um, about 30 kilos. Right, okay. Are you still not pipe? No. Ooh. Well done. Right, I'm going to go and sort my um, toiletries out. Go on then. Right, I'm just replacing the uh, metal dust caps with these plastic ones. So thanks to everybody that commented and told us about that. About 30 people actually messaged us and said that. So the message, the um, the seize up, the seize up, the metal ones. So we've we swapped them for plastic. We've got the catch pressure washer out because the van is filthy. It does get wrapped next week, but. For us first trip out, we just want it to be a little bit cleaner than it is at the moment. Taylor's degreened and I've um, paraffin oiled the tyres with the uh, wet black. This is going to be a problem I think when we've had the wrap done because I think the paint is going to be darker than the trims. So you can get some, some paint or some like some stain on Amazon that you put on like shoe polish and it may, basically makes them jet black and they stay jet black for about six months. Um, we should have hand washed it but we're just washing the, the, the green off really. But um, as you can see she's ready for her maiden voyage. This for some reason was the worst side. This was really, really green. We had to get this sweeping brush out and do some sweeping. As you can see, look, we've not got it all, but we'll do that when we get it back. So inside we have the toilet full with the cleaning fluid and the bed um, thing with the waterproof bag. The fridge is on and freezing. You can hear it and it's stacked with food. So we're going to have steak, corn and potato salad tonight and a can of um, Guinness. Let's see if the ice box is defrosting. Yes, it is actually it's quite, well, it's really cold. In fact, I can probably turn the fridge down a little bit. It doesn't need to be that cold. So the garlic absolutely, uh, the, oven, the fridge stinks of this garlic. I've put it in there just to keep it out of the way because it, it would make the van smell like gas. Um, in here, we've got toilet rolls. We've got the Timo washing machine. We've got wipes toilet chemical and other bits and bats. Up here we've got uh, torches, tools and bits. This is like a bits cupboard, the speaker for the TV. In here we've got food, pots. In here we've got toiletry bags and tea bags for some reason. Uh, we'll get organized when we actually get a full shop in. And then up here we've got Lee's side of the wardrobe which is rammed. And here we've got my side and everything fits in that little 
tub and then my tablet uh, we've got phone cables we've got all the bedding we need cushions in um, to the lovely lady that sent us that we've got another one which you need a, a pillar for which our friend Susan gave us that's going to be on the bed and um, we're ready to go right I've got a little bag that Tracy Neil gave us when we went to Disneyland Paris that's going to be a laundry bag got my laptop and stuff the moment we've all been waiting for got my coat we're taking the air fryer to cook a steak. We don't actually know where we're going to start, stay tonight. We're just going to go out, get grab a coffee and stuff. I'll be driving down to some park ups and have a look and then just decide. Which ones look nice. We're going to look on park for night. Um, we've just been looking at one. It looked all right. And then somebody said it looks like a dogging place. So we're like, so we we'll skip, skip that. that one. But it does get five out of five. It was just one review. Might be a good, great dogging place. Well, maybe it's just one weirdo. <laughs> um, I've just hoovered the mat. That's going to go in the van. Mass will use it. Every day is best and all that. Um, I just need to get my coat. Have you put us walking shoes in there? Yours are there, grab them, I've got mine. Right, then we're ready. This is it. Maiden voyage. Moment of truth to see if the uh, air fryer fits under the chair, which was a plan that we came up with. I think it will do, won't it? So, a lot of people have asked us about this as well. How are you going to secure this when we're driving? Well, since if you stop sharply, things propel forwards rather than backwards. So, this thing, as heavy as it is, it's very heavy actually, is going to be stowed there when not in use. With an air fryer, fryer in it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. perfect. Perfect, it was almost made for it. And then the lid for it. Goes on like that. And then the cushion. Hey, let me have a try and this. And you can sit. Yeah, I'm just going to and try it sitting here. Oh, hi. And if they are like, we were parked up at the side of a beach, this is where I'd be. Well, yeah. Perfect. Or you could be there empty and sat there. Mm. Or making breakfast, make a cup of tea or something. Let's do this. Right. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to go to a campsite, I don't want to pack outside at road. <laughs> Five minutes down the road, <laughs> we've stopped. It would have late my first time back at Um Right, so we have just stopped for no reason whatsoever, apart from we've over, we've driven past this for seven years, and we've never stopped. If you if you're sort of like a local from around here, please sign the visitor book inside the name block. Hmm. Um, if you're a local, you'll have seen this 158 Squadron um, sort of memorial. Look at that! It says there's a um, a visitor book. Where is it? It says inside the name block. What name block? Don't know. So we've passed this like hundreds block, yeah. and hundreds of times. Oh. Never even knew. Oh, oh my god. It's like a little geocache. Christ. Oh wow. Look at the size of it. Blimey. Can I find it? What's what's it say? Please place visit a book. Yeah, but which book's current? Oh but this one's the current one, look. But we haven't got a penny in have we? Um, yeah, yeah, I've actually, yeah. Very moving memorial. Well, so let's go and have a quick look at it. Ooh, it's a bit windy out here. It's nice and warm though. But it's windy. Like I said, this is the first time in seven years we've ever stopped here. It's a war memorial. And um, just behind it, beautiful green fields, lots of wind turbines. Oh, if only the weather would stay like this now for the rest of summer. It'll be beautiful. But uh, I think it's just going to last for a day or two. All these years we've lived around here and it's the first time we've ever stopped. We've seen it, we've seen it hundreds of times. Uh -huh. Right, back on his way. Well, as we're packed up. We need a solution for those. Yeah, don't ram the cupboards full. We need a, where's it gone? There. Right. It's a good job the plastic. Is 
it broke? No, no, it's that's fine. The reason why is it's because it stood up. It needs we need to a solution for them. As we're going to say, as we're packed up, just have a little snack. A packet of crisps. Lentil barbecue. Are you loving van life already? Eh? Are you loving van life already? Well, apart from freezing cold wind, yeah. Oh, I get myself sat down and I'll have a packet of crisps. at somewhere called Bracey Bridge. It's a lay-by and um, it's, on for night. it's on part for night. You can park here and it says it's got like a um, walk, you know, walking areas, picnic, and area. picnic areas, bins, um, bins. <laughs> this is a place where one person said it looks like a dogging place on part for nights. Oh! Oh, it's shut. Oh no, I wanted a cup of tea. Oh no, it's not, I don't think. Park up here. Or, or further on if you parking want. Parking on level ground. Yeah, park further up there maybe, or oh, whatever. Level ground. Right, there we go. Grandma's kitchen. Let's go and have a look. I don't think she's open. No, but we're going to have a look. Finally taking the um, plastic, plastic off the TV. We've checked his mobile signals. It is a good signal here. Because at the moment, obviously, we've not got Starlink. So, during the in the UK, we're probably not going to bother with, with um, Starlink. As long as we can get good mobile signal. Oh, it's such a satisfying thing. Feeling a, uh, that's it. There we go. No more touching the screen now. You'll touch it every time you put that Velcro on. No. The Velcro will just go like that and it'll just be stuck on. Right, shall we get telly on? You're going to watch Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't see it now, but there's a deer. Where, where, where? You can't see it. it the deer just ran across there and went up there. Oh, it's there, you can see it. Just, Where? it's just there. Oh, I can't see it. Ah, oh, that was nice. I can still see it moving. Right. It's a little early, but we're going to make the bed up just so it's done. And it's... We'll end up getting in it when it's like this, right? <laughs> I've got some editing to do anyway. Um, so. It's still got that new, that new wood smell. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It needs to have a, uh, I need a diffuser in here. Uh, I hope it lasts for quite a long time, that nice oh, new no, wood like... smell. It's like paint and varnish and linseed yeah. and all that kind of smell. To find a um, right. place for his laundry. That's his view out of this win the kitchen window. So we'll go and have a little walk around in a bit. There's a little picnic area over there. I've just gone for a quick walk and the um, the sandwich van is unfortunately uh, closed by the looks of it, which is a shame. Right, so time to make the there, bed. It'll fall off because it'll get mucky. So we've never actually put this on, so no. at this rate we might be going back to the lodge if we've got it wrong. Oh yeah, yeah we brought the right one. Well, it's the one we bought. A couple more cars have come, three more cars have come at the back. Which one's which? Since we came here, and another one's just come in. It's a popular place. Right, we've made the bed for the first time. Um, we haven't settled fully on whether we'll just stick with white or whether we'll get something that has a bit more character, but for now we just got white. Um, we just got from off Amazon, they were cheap enough. This is the throw that we got from Dunham Mills and we've got we've moved that pillar there for now we have got a pillar that matches these cupboards um but we just need an insert for it that's back at the lodge so there we go i almost want to get in it now right now the um van now the bed's been done Ooh. oh there we go pull it footpath we're just going to go on this little walk see where it takes us it does say on the app it's a circular walk a circular walk so how far i wonder if we'll get to see that um deer again and that's where we're parked you can see taylor just down there with a few other cars i think the other cars are just here for like having the lunch breaks and stuff like that from work so uh somewhere down there is at least one deer yeah the stream and at least one deer which i saw it were a big one and all are you a bit nervous about staying over no not at all why are you no. i'm loving it so far I just wish that butty van hadn't have uh, stopped serving. Because I, like, I, I saw it and I was like, ooh, uh, well, yeah, a sausage sandwich. Butty, let's go buy stuff from a shop and we'll make butties. Oh, we've got enough food now. We've got toast to make bread. Well, you've, had, you've eaten half at yogurts and half at crisps. I've had one, one, one packet of crisps, thank you. This is exactly what I thought 
like UK van life in Woodby. We don't, we don't even know, we haven't even left no, 20 minutes. I mean like walking and the sun out and the blue sky. The sun help. If it wasn't sunny, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have done it and not be out sun. So, but it's not going to be all like this, you know. Well, I know that. I have lived in the UK for 47 years. I, I didn't mean the weather. I meant van life. It's not going to be so far. Parking in late yeah, in Britain and, great. and walking around and thinking, oh, look at this beautiful scenery. I know. And a deer. It's still a deer. Grid. It's great so far. And just if you weren't sure that you're on the footpath, there's a big sign there that says it. Footpath. This way, yeah, there's two different footpaths. Let's see where they go. Public footpath. Well, it just says public footpath. Yeah, we'll go this way. Loads of daffodils around. So that one you can go down there as well. Looks like it goes. Who's the swan? How very much? There's a swan down there. Oh yeah. In river. So that's a deer and a swan we've seen so far. Back there. Oh, shit. oh, you're joking me. I'm not going any further. <laughs> I'll have to go over here. Oh, great. I hope you brought an extra pair. Have you not brought any more trousers? Oh, you absolute idiot. They'll have to just dry. Should we turn back? Ooh. A pheasant. <laughs> Right, let's turn back. Oh, it's all dry here. Let's just go through this and see what's here. It's getting bloody windy. A little hut there. And a little bridge that's going over this river. Reminds me of that nursery around when we were kids and the troll used to be under the bridge. What were they meant? What were it? The story. Billy Goat's Gruff. That's it. Yeah. If you were to illustrate that story, it would be drawn here, wouldn't it? Well, in my mind as a kid, no, but I know what you mean. Oh, wait a minute. Where's. The public footpath, I don't go down but there, does it? Continue, but still down here. It's looking very uh very pondy. Pondy down here. Well this is the this road ahead is the main road and then obviously the lay by is over there. So yeah. I've done the circular thing like it said on the uh, the app. That's fine. Well it definitely says public footpath there, there's an arrow. It's getting a bit muddy here. You We're just saying to Nick, these are the most comfiest walking boots we've ever had, I think. We got them from Sports Direct years ago when we walked Snowden and they've lasted and they've been waterproof, never let anything in. I can't remember how much they are now. You can go back and look at our uh, Snowden series, well not series, but when we were um, sort of going walking for Snowden and we'll have gone and bought these at some point in one of those vlogs. Ew, I hate squelchy mud though. Definitely still on the right path. Ew. 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 Ooh. Lovely. Lovely and muddy. Just walking past some cows in there. Hello. Alright, back onto uh, hard ground. <laughs> Let's have a look at them. You know, <laughs> it's bang your feet. Get all sludge off. Right, we're back. And it's time for a cup of tea. So I'm just going to turn the inverter on, which is the top or bottom. What my thing. There we go. We need to get some plastic we do mugs. Need to get some mugs. These are like we've got drinking is mugs. Tumblers, but at least it'd be a nice big mug of tea. Well, I won't want to make it all. Well, yeah, just do half, save the water. Nick's just enjoying. Oh, they're amazing. These puddings that we got from Lidl, wasn't it? Mm. But protein puddings, they're the vanilla ones. But 
I'm making a cup of tea. Least fill the kettle up with two litres of water. That's gonna that's gonna flatten the battery. Well, I wanted it to last for a couple of days. You should have brought a bottle rather than fill it kettle. Your joggers are filthy. Mm. I love a tumbler of tea. <laughs> we need to order some plastic cups. You want more? Um, no, big do, cuppers. Do, yeah. So I'm about to pour the water that Lee filled up into a um, another jug. Now pour it back in there. We just currently sat. Oh look, the blue tit out there. I can see a blue tit. I can see a tit in here as well. Sat with the door open, just watching Downton Abbey on Amazon Prime, using our hotspot on our mobile phones at the minute because the um, we haven't got Starlink. No, but the, the signal is pretty good here. Um, so let's have a look out here. I can't see that um, deer. Not yet. Right, let me look at what that views on the battery. So I can get the damn thing in the door. So don't don't forget we've got solar that's topping it up. Yeah. So we used four percent of our entire battery just on now. a cup of tea yeah. and, and the TV and the TV and the lights. We currently have four hours twenty four hours. It's going. It's increasing because it's charging on the solar yeah. now. But we've only got five hours of power left. Mm. That's concerning. Do we need another battery? Well, we've got those big ones to try, haven't yeah. we? Right, it's about an hour later. It's getting a little bit chilly in here now. And Tad. Might Tad. need to put the heating on. I'm getting a bit stressed because Lee has brought so many bags uh, and no, just leaving them all over no, the floor. No, there's no, one no. there, there's what one there, there's is... one there. Oh, you put a light on? Yes, I'm in there fixing oh, because... That just needs to be popped through there. Because this door handle came off the first time I used it. Now we have this problem with these things in here um, when we first got them. So I'm going to have to put in some like Sikaflex in and then screw them back on when we get to the lodge. But for now, I'm just taking it off. Um, we were hearing lots of noises and we were like curious as to what's going off. Anyway, there's another camper van just in front of us. So we've opened the door and spragged it open. So that's one thing that we hadn't realised that we wanna, we wanna, we'd want to see. That needs sorting out. Um, a little bit more. The ability to have the door front. open. So yeah. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is maybe put some kind of stopper on here um, and then fasten it into the door. I don't know how it's going to work yet. Maybe like a latch there that goes up into the ceiling and holds the door open, possibly. That's that's probably the best idea. All these little things that we, I knew that as, as first trip out, we'd be like, yep, yeah, we need one of those, we need one of those, we need one of these. It's 18 degrees in here. And usually have it at 22 in the lodge. Yes. So <laughs> it'll be 22 shortly because I'm about to put the gas on. So when I go back in and take the screwdriver in, I'm going to turn the gas valve on and then set the heat into about 20 and let the heat, because the gas heating in here revs up until it's warm. Um, when are we having a steak? I'm not hungry yet. Mm. I want to watch Downton. Food time. Just buttering some steak. Nick's just buttering some steak. You're going to put some Marmite on? Yep. Um, so as you saw, we brought the air fryer. We've just got it out and um, Nick's going to do those in there. Which will create a lot of um, heat. Heat and we have put the heating on inside the van yeah. already. Uh, I'm going to double dip now because well I shouldn't really should I? What? Not from what? meat. Oh no. Mm. Have to use a spoon. I want it my mighty because this steak, this little steak, tasted like Ugh. well it went nice other night. No, it wasn't the best Horrible. steak. Right, so hopefully... It does look nice though. It looks nice, but it didn't cook very nice the other night. It needs to be done longer this time, I think. It wasn't done long enough. Well, let's and see what it looks like when I've cooked it. We are a bit short on space, that table extend is going to yeah, have to come Yeah, it's off. going to have to come off while, while we're cooking. I've just been um, editing, and as you can see, the sun is still out. Um, but see, uh, depending on where we were, we'd have probably seats outside now, but we're, yeah. we're surrounded by trees, yeah. so there's no real benefit of getting them out here. No. We have two more neighbours now. Two trucks have turned up. Um, it kind of makes me feel a little bit safer. Yeah, when there's people here. When you've got, you know, when you're not on your own, do you know what I mean? Yeah, unless any of them are an axe murderer. Yeah, well, you never know. Um, so we're currently 
when, when we had power draw earlier, it said we only had about six hours left. Now it says we've got 24 minutes left because we've got the air fry running. But when you turn it off, it goes back up to about um, four to five days or something like that. So you can't really base this bottom figure where it's just time remaining as accurate. But currently we're drawing, we've, we've currently used about 18% of the, 16% of the battery. So um, there we go. So we'll see what it looks like when we turned it off. But if worst case scenario, if we need power, we we'll just start the engine for 10 minutes. Mm. Right, we have corn on the cob with lots of uh, spices and herbs and things. Uh, the potato salad that Batty Brenda didn't like. It's, it's creme fraiche, it's absolutely delicious. And then we're just There's waiting for... Uh, yeah, loads of people coming and going on this lay-by, isn't there? Like, ton of lorries. What if it's dogging? Well, I don't... Well, we just keep dogging. Well, exactly. Not to do with me if it's dogging. Um, I said the word my dogging. I'll be having a cup of tea and watching Downton. <laughs> Um, we're just waiting for the steak, put it back in a little bit because it was very pink. pink. As first proper meal. What the steak? I won't get that steak again, would you know? From Lidl. No, I would not. Is it? But it, if you put the spices on it, the Parmesan spices from the sweet corn, it actually flavours the steak, it's really nice. Still nice and light outside. No signs of any deer. Nice and quiet. Camper van up there and another van. Very peaceful, isn't it? Oh, it's just it's so cozy in this little booth area now, and especially if I put the, um, the if, light on. Oh yeah, I forgot about those lights. It feels like bedtime uh, in the van because we put all the the blinds down and stuff. So cozy in this little alcove. But then outside. Oh, you're letting eat out. I know. It's just still light. So cozy in here. Although this bloody window is putting out a right draft, I might have to shut the, um, the the screen across. The heating's set to 20 degrees. We're currently inside at the moment 21, so the heating will kick in when that drops below um, and get us back up to to, uh, to 20. Um, we've just put the blinds down on the main door. There's a camper van at the other side of the yep. other over there. They're just you can say you can see straight through. I can see that the there from isn't locked off do you know what I mean like ours you can see straight so they've not the... put the blinds down or anything no 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 so I'm just about to open the ah, non-alcoholic guineas thing. I know why it's drafty because, because that's open. still on right wait a minute so what happens is the the max air fan if it's on ex if it's on extract it will actually pull air through here down inside create a wind tunnel and then go outside in reverse it will push air in push it this way and push it out there so it creates like a wind tunnel effect and I remember I left it on 10% because you need ventilation in a van so I'm gonna turn that off and then that should immediately stop yes it has it stopped the draft now so it shouldn't get any cooler but when we go to sleep tonight that fan is so quiet it won't even serve as like the water the water sound that we listen to uh, so we may have to put it on his mobiles so we may even get an Alexa in here actually so we've just realised, well I just realised that Nick's not had anything to drink all day and um, Now I'm having a chocolate drink We should have brought some bottled water, we didn't call for anything to be honest We came straight from the lodge straight here yeah. and didn't pipe anything But I did bring anything. some non-alcoholic Guinness so we're going to share a can of that right. for hydration And then we're back onto watching Downton I'm a little concerned because the battery usage is a lot less than what I thought I mean we didn't have much solar today when we arrived We're on 67% it says three hours 43 minutes but i really just do not dis just don't count that once we've drained the battery once or twice and then calibrated it that will actually increase the um the time and be more accurate but as you can see lee's laptops charging My and laptop's uploading charging. and it's drawing 190 watts which includes all the all the lights the tv um my, my phone's charging, charging. Um, and it's still so we've got three hours 41 but if we shut everything off that'll go up to like four days and then tomorrow morning as soon as the sun comes out the solar panels will probably have us back at 100% before we even wake up we've already got a broken door knob yes I am not impressed with these handles they're absolutely crap we've got another one here that's coming off as well so the the things that's inside them come out nothing to do with the screws it's just how they um, they're manufactured so I might contact the people who we bought them off and basically say your handles are shite and we want some more but um, that one is pretty much useless now it's a little while later um, I've just been editing today's vlog and yesterday's vlog I'm still uploading 
vlog. It, what? The car just went past. Oh, it's not great oh, Wi-Fi here. What? It was great earlier, but it's not as good now. Um, so it's going to take three hours for my vlog to upload on my uh, mobile phone network. We are picking up Wi-Fi of another van here as well. So maybe we'd all snatch in the cell tower. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know. We've, we've got the TV on as well. Nick's watching a Star Trek film uh, whilst I'm uploading. Uh, so, you know, we are using quite a bit, but it, it's fine for tonight. Um, what are you up to? I'm currently on Timu. Timu. Um, adding lots of little things. Um, we've made basically we've only been here a few hours, and we've already come up with. Well, we need this. We need that. So shall I tell you what what's on my list? Go on. So first things first, I need somewhere that I can mount my phone on a night. Yeah. So I found these um, things on Timu that goes either side of your phone will allow my phone to mount there, mm -hmm. and then you come and have a look. I'll show you. So I need my phone to mount there and then the USB cable from here covered in dust this. But don't forget when we're sleeping this way, that's your side at bed, so your phone's gonna be over here. Doesn't matter. Whoever's, whoever's here, or even on a daytime, when I was cooking earlier and my phone was on charge, I need my phone hooked up there when it's on charge. So the only thing is I'll have to make a hole in one side to get the power cable in. Hole in what? On the, the holder. Hmm. The other thing as well is on the back doors in the garage, you'd put some nets into the Timo basket. Yeah, yeah, they're that big. Oh, oh really? So but you can get big ones though. Well, you can, but the, the big ones are that big. So what I've done is I found some plastic um, trays hmm. that fit on the door that are that wide and that thick. Yeah. So if we get four of them or two on each door, that's extra storage there. We remember we need to get a dish dish brush. I'll tell you what I've got on my list. I've been adding things. There's 25 items in the list. Um, I've also found uh, an artificial plant that'll dangle there. Yeah, we want one dangling there so it's out Very all the time. Very similar to that yeah. one. Because we've got these, but obviously when we start driving around, we uh, put them back into the cupboard so it'd be nice if the one's just there all the time. Well, I'm thinking that pot, I could easily just put a small hole in it and, and screw it to that there. So, uh, hold it up. No, I don't think I like that. Why? No. If it was in a holder though. <laughs> that does not look maybe, good like that. Maybe it did. If uh, it's hanging, um, it needs to be dangling. The next one is a little round um, chrome thing with a rubber thing in that you can put your tea towel in. You know that, you, that Nana's used yeah, to have yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Well, the gas has just kicked in. Um, and we'll just put one of them maybe near the shower mm -hmm. door around the corner on the, um, I know what I mean, down there. And I'm also going to get a little electric mini chopper to chop garlic and onions. Mm -hmm. I'm actually gonna get that for the lodge as well, if it's any good. Um, 20 magnets for when we fit the fly screen. Um, a dish brush, um, a laptop riser for you, like a fold flat. Yeah, fold, I've got to bring one. mine from the uh, lodge. Um, a bin that hooks onto the cupboard. Yeah. And then um, everything else, stuff that you've added, because right. the TV as well, doesn't have a very good speaker. I've actually got this old um, Anchor Bluetooth speaker, which old, I've been watching. Oh, very good. It's really brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. And this so is... this has been on, the TV's been on all, since since we got here about three o'clock, yeah. and it hasn't been off since, and all the lights have been on, and the battery's now stabilised at about 63%. Mm -hmm. It says four hours use, but it said that for the last four hours. So I, th I just think the using, using the batteries, it just needs to calibrate what 65 percent means in terms of usage do you know what i mean yeah so this is my setup oh, so at the you... moment it's warm in here now um i've extended um the chair a little bit so i can get a little bit more comfortable i've got um a cushion that our friend sandra and steve sent for nick's birthday so it's very similar to that one um but uh, what it's cozy. uh so i've put the desk extender on so i have a little bit more um you know, room. I've just been editing and stuff, and uh, You've now still got bags everywhere though. No, I've not. Where? Oh yeah, we also need to get as well something so that we can store the air fryer on top mm. of the hob. But yeah. rather than being on it permanently, get like a little stand that goes over it. Yeah. And I have found one, a metal one, monitorizer, which would work, but I didn't have a tape measure handy to be able to just measure it. 
but yeah. I think it would be fine. We haven't washed up, as you can see. We're going to wait until the morning until we've had a shower. Then we know we can run the water off washing up. Whatever water's left. We've, we've brought 40 litres, yeah. which should be enough for two showers and washing up. But it will be a good test. So before we start using any water tomorrow, we'll take a reading on the, on the scale at the back. And then we'll do everything we need to do and then take another reading and we'll know exactly what one day of consume, consumption is going to be. And now I'm just going to get my shoes on and have a little look outside. You going outside? Let's have a look. Oh, it's too dark. It's pitch black. Come on. Remember, there's a turd, turd of dog no, yeah, outside. Right, right, get me that torch that we got from Timo. So let me get in that. So I've actually thought of a way as well to fix these handles mm -hmm. because this one's doing the same thing. It's coming off. Yeah. So my, my thinking is because this is a solid piece of wood at the back, if I just work out the exact halfway point between and just put screws on the back, so between there and there, put the halfway point and put two screws in and screw it into the back of the handle, then it'll stop these from popping out and I won't have to replace them all. Okay. So that'll be done when we get back to the lodge on Sunday. I think I'll make a cup of tea when I get back in as well. You can't bottle kettle again. What? Yes, I can. We'll be down to 20%. Want oh, a cup of tea? Right, come on. Let's go out with this tea. I'm not going torch. out there. Come on. Oh, it's freezing. Oh, there's moths in already. Oh, ah! Right, let me get out. Turn these lights off on the top then. Turn all the lights off. Look at this. Amazing torch. <laughs> Don't be scaring people. I'm not scaring anybody. Uh, <laughs> there's a big frigging poo there. So I just wanted to see what it... Well, I like outside and how many people are out here. That camper van's still, ooh. We've got some uh, water there. I think that's just coming from our grey waste. There's nobody else. Nobody else. Well, there's a car coming, apart from us and that other camper van. But it doesn't feel unsafe, what? doesn't it? I know. There's nobody else, apart from this car that's just coming in now. Doggers. Well, they can dog off, because I, I, I ain't dogging. I don't even know what dogging is. Heat out. Um, there's just us and the other camper van. Is that it? Yeah. Are there no cows down there? Nope. Another tumbler of tea. I don't mind a tumbler of tea. Because I always like a big mug of tea, so you can get a little bit more in here. We do need some plastic cup. Oh, I'll add it to my tumble list. Yeah, go on then. So we're just taking it out, the uh, water, when we're making it. Just enough for like, you didn't want a cup, did you? No. And then just pouring it back in. I filled that up at the lodge this morning. So that should be enough, fingers crossed, for the morning for a cup of tea. <laughs> we'll see if the uh, butty van comes back Ooh, I hope in it the does. morning. You can go out for some bacon sandwiches then. Get ready for bed. What time is it? It is. It's only 8.55. One hour! Not going to bed yet. Lee's been editing, he wants to get the vlog finished. So he's rushing to get into bed so we can finish the vlog. I'm still shopping on Timu. It's time to open the body bag. <laughs> and make the bed. And uh, get our extender out. This will be the first time we've set it up and actually made the bed. Fingers yeah. crossed it all fits. Right, let me, um, let me get in. I'm already in my, uh, my shorts ready for bed. Right, so we need to fold that that way. Put the tap that way. Pull these forwards out the way. Put that to here. Fold back the blankets. This is almost like making a bed. I know. In, um, in Taylor One, isn't it? Yeah. Right, hold on. It's not as bad as like making a full bed though. No. So it slots in there. There we go. And it's we'll pretty simple, like really. We pull the mattress extender, which we've not actually tried yet, because this bed was made. What? What was that? It's just a, I think it's on the road outside. On the main road. Yeah. Right, the mattress protector, all across, like so. It's a bit tight, which means it's pretty good that it's not going to come off in the middle of the night, you know what I mean? And then the fitted sheet, 
similar. We have to be careful that we don't flick this forwards because if we do, we're going to have a lot of water spilling out everywhere. But I will turn the water pump off to limit the movement. I don't think my foot's going to come down that far. Well, it would have to go over. Yeah. Right, wash that in. That looks all right. And then move this down here. Like this. Let me turn the water pump off. That's off. And then it's just a case of getting us pillars down at far end and getting in bed. Let's fold this up. Put this over here. We might want that on us tonight to keep it warm. You won't, because I'm, I'm sleeping with the heating on. Screw that. So we could have probably slept the other way if we really That's wanted to have done. Um, but um, we didn't want to. We'll try that basically. Night. Yeah, we might try it another night. Right, let me just get. Yeah. Is that cosier? Oh yeah. Is that better now that you can We've got full, stretch out? We're slightly on a slope that way. Right. So, night. So, <laughs> you're a bit close to that. A little bit of a nightmare and wake up and bang your head. Bloody hell. What I'm going to have to do is plug my phone into this lamp here. Yeah, well at least you can put your phone up there then. Uh, yeah, probably. So you don't really need a, a phone holder really. I'll put mine in this little cubby hole. Wait a minute, how do I get it in? So, we're gonna go to bed and finish the vlog. There's Scotty from Star Trek on the uh, We're TV. finishing watching that before we go to sleep. We've been watching films and stuff all day while I've been editing as well. Um, so we'll see you on the next vlog, which will be the morning for us, to see um, how we coped through the night, to see what kind of um, night's sleep, sleep we had and to see if there's a burger van in the morning when we wake up. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed our first van trip today. Join us again on the next vlog to see um, what we go up to the next one. We're going to go to a different park uh, tomorrow night, a proper one, like a campsite, because we wanted to try a campsite as well so we can plug in electric so we don't have to think about uh, any electric, stuff like that. And um, Test just the facilities. Test facilities. Just I mean, it's, like that. We don't know where we're going yet. We need to... We need to have a look now when we get into bed actually to see where we're going to go tomorrow. We might go to sort of like Stamford Bridge area, but you'll see on the next vlog. Before we do though, I need to set the heating for the night. What are you going to set it to? 18. Yeah, that's There right. we go. And so currently in here, 22. Bloody hell. Perfect. <laughs> so thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, and we'll see you on the next vlog to see what we get up to.